Part 2 of the Illegal DHS Autonomous Weapon System. Biometrics is human GPS. Surveillance tracking and targeting software is the same thing that they put on drones to target facilities, plants, missile bases, etc. But the coordinates they're, they're inputting when they do the software is biometrics. A lot of this is very logical, very much common sense, much more in line of what we understand. Could it? I can't really get into the stuff the CIA did that Dr. Robert Duncan, when he spoke to Jesse Ventura about the brain invaders, I can't really get into all that because there's there's terminology. NLP terminology. A lot of things have been renamed um, when at their basic basic understanding is signal warfare. And it's being called neuroweapons and neurocognitive warfare and RNM and all this other stuff. Remote neural monitoring. Well, it, it's there's a whole lot of lingo that I'm just not going to get into because it's easier for me to understand and explain this the way I understand it. I'm not saying anybody else is wrong because these attacks have been personalized. I don't claim to know it all. But from what I do know from my own education, work experience, intelligence, uh, this is the best way I can explain it as signal warfare. Um, Biometrics are, is a human GPS. I have a playlist on this that gets in, to information on that. It tells you about our countries as well as others. Um, signal warfare. Biomimetics. Biomimetics are taking those natural waveforms that they record from their instruments that are neurological, biological, molecular, pharmaceutical, chemical, geological, atmospheric. Anything that has a waveform, which you can just about find legitimate research sources to tell you everything has a waveform. They have instruments that can measure everything. Your voice is a waveform. Your uh, earthquakes are a waveform. The atmosphere as it moves, there's waveforms. Um, tornadoes, waveforms. Hurricanes, waveforms. Pharmaceuticals, apparently pharmaceuticals and molecular biological scientists, sciences waveforms. So if you go to my playlist, you'll find this stuff. I'm not going to repeat it all. I'm trying to just give you a basic understanding of what I, I know and the information that may help you find that for yourselves. Sorry about that. Um, so signal warfare is being used like biomimetics, meaning it imitates nature. Not hard to do. They record the nature uh, there's your imitation. Playback. It is as simple as that. Don't try to make this stuff difficult. Um, RFID. RFID has been around since the invention of signals for radios. Everything has an RFID chip in it. Now, of course, it's gotten... Technology has taken it right on along with uh, humanity, modern society. So, you know, your chips in clothes, your chips on people, your chips on items, it's everything. I've got a list for that. Um, the MK Ultra and sub-programs. The CIA began something called Operation Mind Control. And you'll find information about that by a guy named Walter B-O-W-A-R-T, Boward. Um... These sub-programs, which you can also find on both in, within my uh, video list and on 
Level 9 news. The Jade Helm, Jade 2. It was mentioned in there as a patent, but never spoke about the fact they automated these programs, the MK Ultra, the Monarch, Phoenix, were automated as weapons. You can computerize a weapon, and they have. MK Ultra is a detrimental neurology. Um, I wouldn't say just always detrimental, it's also just neurology. And what they have used it for so far has been they used it to deceive people. And they've used it to commit crimes on people and then either deceive those people or deceive other people. So it's been used as a weapon. A weapon. Um, weaponized synthetic neurology, biology, and my molecular structures crime spree folder. Ebola. Zombie pigs. Um, these outbreaks. People's suicides. What else? Cancer scans. All these things. Neuralink. All of, this is my list. It's extensive. But it goes into how they they've weaponized it. And these things that we're viewing across the United States, the Ebola, the uh, mag cow, uh, these, the things with the deer, the, all this stuff, it's, I'm, they are so bad with what they've done at this point. I'm going to say that the evidence should show they are behind attacks in ways we are not going to be happy with. And yeah, that could be overblowing it. I don't think so. Uh, given the extent of what has been done, what I know they've done to all these people that are across this country called the United States and globally, it's that extensive. Uh, don't think it's coming. It's been here. It's out there. It's probably behind all this. BCI, which is Brain Computer Interface. Well, Technically, that sounds like the Google upgrade, where your brain is, is connecting to a computer and you are, you are still yourself, being yourself, making choices, functioning with the computer like a tool. When what this weaponized stuff has done, it's applying some kind of disruption to the real, so it can supplant that with the computerized version. That's where your Mandela effect comes from. That's where the abnormalities and, and nonsense is coming from. That's where behavior that is abnormal can come from. It, it just, it, it's like the stuff they use for canines or rodeo animals to, or circus animals for training and control. And it's the same thing Delgado did with, with human beings a long time ago. And his was... He used people who had mental illness. They're using regular healthy people. They can make them look mentally ill. They can make them look like a genius. It's all a matter of what somebody there on that side of the computer is deciding to do to somebody. But it is BCI in a, in a sense because it is brain-computer interface to some level. Our brain is interfacing with this. But it's a, a, a computer control of brain body interface would be the better description of what this weaponized stuff is actually doing. Um, neuro warfare, neuro weapons, frequencies, signals, waveforms, electronic biosignatures, biotags, bioidentifiers. I've got information on all the latest stuff that's been coming out concerning using your brain as a weapon. James Giordano is a professor and a neurologist at the Georgetown University. Uh, the best I could say at this point is I've watched many of his lectures. He understands the interaction of the computer to the human, but it 
if you wanted to take away technology, Delgado was able to do this with a acoustic device and somebody sitting there with a walkie-talkie talking into it or a microphone into a speaker. It, it, and it's, if you want to simplify this, it could be as simple as that. Now you add in supercomputers, you add in uh, mainframes and and quantums, and you add in the satellites and radars and antennas and all the technology that has advanced, and you got one hell of a lethal weapon that's out there. And while they're saying this is to come, well, whatever they've got going now is darn good enough to to just that's being dis with what's being described but yet worth listening to and understanding because he does get into that pretty well Dr. Ronnie killed she's no longer with us she is deceased but she and her husband were both medical professionals from the Netherlands I think Norway over towards those countries and for a long time, I think it goes back at least to the 1980s, that there is tele television interviews and many other things. I'm going to have to clean up my list. Sorry about that. That she was explaining the mind control as a physician, medical doctor, um, trying to be an activist against it, trying to be an advocate to warn people about it. Um... Another file I have is called Monarch, the new Phoenix program. Marshall Gregory Thomas did an excellent job at giving a lot of history on the Monarch, the MK Ultra, the Phoenix programs as they originated. These things, like I said with the MK Ultra, it's been automated. It's an aspect of the Jade Helm J2 software program weapon system. So they can do neurological attacks. They can do these attacks through that computerized system. Um, that one's regarding Project MK, MK Ultra by Marshall Gregory Thomas. Like I said, he gets into the history. Um, best thing I could say is I'm trying to sum this all up. My discussion page on my YouTube channel has a link it's to a uh, Google hard drive document that I've named mastering the attacks on the human domain notes it, it's a couple years worth of stuff it's all the stuff I put on YouTube without you having to scroll through to find it all because it, it spans I think seven years now and while you know there's personal opinion in there a lot of times what I try to do was to provide links and then at some point I started actually just copying the articles and stuff over because I would provide a link to information and later would not be able to come back and find it and that didn't matter how legitimate that link might have been could have been a military link government link a state link a university link a scientific link it didn't matter I'd come back to it later and it'd be gone so I have everything I've put on there on this document on Google Hard Drive and you'll the reason it really is so long is because at some point I started copying and pasting the articles over so I didn't lose the information by just doing it as a link I can't think of anything else to say other than I'm trying to stress the Department of Homeland Security and law enforcement along with our justice system it's not everybody, but for it to be running like this as an official operation, it's bad. Um, the hard drives from the local, state, federal armed forces all have proof there are crimes being committed with this. Terrorist attacks on their own nations and people. And everything that I know is called high treason. It's up to everybody else. Because one person can't make this known unless I'm murdered in some horrific way. Blaring it. Which, please, dear God, don't let that happen. 
hopefully people understand as many as possible. Something is done to stop this and hold them accountable.